for tuning in to Car Rider Line. I'm Sydney Hunt, Senior Communications Specialist. And today I'm joined by Ms. Dana Morgan, CCIC's Director of Career and Technical Education, and Casey Bevel, Coordinator, Coordinator for Career and Technical Education. Thank you both for being here. And today we're going to be talking about all things career and technical education. Uh, families right now are about to start the course selection process for next school year, so are already looking at um, opportunities for next year. Uh, that process starts on February 8th, um, and we have some parent nights going on right now for incoming intermediate and also high school um, in the next few weeks. And so we wanted to go a little bit more in depth on what CCIC offers for students um, in both high school and even some opportunities even at the intermediate level as well to start exploring uh, possible career um interests uh, that apply to them. So let's first start off, if, if for families who have never heard of career and technical education, can you go into a little bit more detail what that is? Sure. Uh, well, there is a lot that falls under the umbrella of career and technical education. It spans from actual uh, curriculum courses and extracurricular, as well as uh, connections, uh, direct connections to the job market. So um, within the curriculum uh, piece of it, we offer over a hundred courses, I believe, um, in various career areas, uh, spanning from uh, hospitality to engineering to agriculture science, business, uh, audio video production. It's almost kind of like if you could think of any career mm -hmm. area that is out there, we have something related to that field. And those are courses that are offered in the intermediate and high school levels. Um, and then we also have extracurricular programs. We have uh, robotics teams. We have uh, some of our agriculture science um, opens up into FFA mm -hmm. and, and actual uh, raising of animals and uh, and other projects, other non-animal projects. We also have our C3 Studios crew. I don't know, uh, many of you may, may be familiar with C3 Studios, but they are our audio video production um, students and crew team mm -hmm. that run many media operations in, in the district, including their main one uh, at Challenger Columbia Stadium. They cover all the events there. So that's a lot of fun stuff that's like outside of the classroom, right. but connected to the classroom. Um, and that's kind of an overview of, of, of things that fall under career and technical education. And if any of our viewers have questions as we're going through this live session on Facebook, um, you can ask them in the comment section. We'll try to get to them at the end of the show because um, I know we're going to be throwing a lot of information at you. So um, let's go into who's qualified for these offerings and how, do, how does one apply for them? Well, I would say that... Um all students, it's mostly grade level. We offer courses seventh grade through senior level. So um, any student in those grade levels are eligible to take um, uh, career and technical education courses. Some of the courses are specialty courses, so um, depending on different situations, uh, uh, you know, th there's an application process, mm -hmm. but it's it's open to all right. students in our district. And so you mentioned intermediate. Uh, there's a few ways that we set students up at the inter intermediate level, sixth mm -hmm. through eighth grade, um, to explore career options. Um, what's offered for those students before they reach mm -hmm. high school? So one of the most significant courses that we offer is our college and career readiness class. And it is a course that all eighth graders take in our district. And really this course um, allows students to go through each CTE course and really explore and see what they're interested in. And then while they do that, they're planning their four years of high school. So it gives them an overview of all of the courses that we have available to students. Um, in addition to that, we do have audio video production in intermediate. We have culinary arts, we have robotics. Um, so we do have a, a, a wide variety of offerings for students in intermediate school, but that college and career readiness class is really where the students are going to hone in on um, specific career clusters they're interested in and really kind of see where they want their path to go in high school. I think what's really good I want to say about that class, and you may have said it already, but um, the teachers go through a very detailed breakdown 
of the actual career and tech course offerings at the high school level. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that what we're going to talk about today, it's going to be such a brief overview Mm -hmm. that to really dig in and see everything that's available, um, they take the time um, in that course and go through all of uh, the career type course offerings uh, so that they can schedule it into their four-year plans appropriately and at the right times. Right, setting them up for success before they reach that high school level. So there's a wide range of courses and specialty programs, like you mentioned, um, to help students explore any passion that they may have. Um, What do students gain through these specialty programs? So I think the biggest thing that students gain through our programs is real world application. Mm -hmm. We're teaching skills that are directly transferable to the workforce. Um, In addition, we provide opportunities for internships, such as our computer technician program. We're putting kids directly in CCISD technology intern positions. Um, Our TET, which is teacher education training, and our child guidance program students are receiving letters of assurance from the district that ensure them an interview Mm -hmm. in four years once they graduate college to come back and actually teach within CCISD. It gives them the opportunity to get that interview. Um, Like Dana mentioned, we have C3 Studios and we have actually a mobile unit now that students are learning live streaming at a a real live event outside of the stadium. Mm -hmm. So they're provided with opportunities like that. Students are running our school stores. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's solely a student run business. So we're providing students with opportunities to get that real world experience. Um, Some of our courses do offer certification. Mm -hmm. So students can take that certification and apply it to um, life after high school and their post-secondary plans, technical school, college, four-year universities. Um, so it goes, it's, it's really about what they are gaining in high school and how they can apply it to the real world after graduation. And I know some students um, I've talked to in the vet tech program and the certified nursing assistance program, they, uh, they have a leg up after high school mm-hmm. graduation because they are certified and they can actually go work in these offices during college, whatever level they want to get to within post-secondary success, and they can actually work in one of those vet offices or, you know, nursing assistant programs. And so it's just, it's amazing to see these students already have that pathway and that goal set up, especially after graduation from high school, not just college. Right, absolutely. I always use the term stepping stone because that gives our students opportunities to take that certification and not just in their education there, but continue to build upon it and use it as they move forward in their education. Right. Um, and I think that's awesome. Our, our certified nursing assistant students are able to actually get jobs in hospitals while mm-hmm. pursuing nursing school. And some students right out of high school are not getting that opportunity. They're not capable of, yeah. yeah. And many of those internships come with that whole networking piece right. that if mm-hmm. you've been doing an internship, Uh, talk about the certified nursing assistants, where they do their internships, Mm -hmm. those hospitals or nursing homes then know the student and want to hire that student. And so that that happens a lot in all of of our areas. It really does. And I think we mentioned this last time we talked about it, but, um, you know, going into, into college, having an idea, at least it doesn't have to be an exact pathway like some of these students. It could be an idea of what they want to go into and what they want to major in. And, and they're not figuring that out as they're paying for college Absolutely. and <laughs> changing majors every year. You know, at least they can maybe weed out some of the things they thought they may, might be interested in. Um, and it just helps them with that, yeah. correct? Well, I, I like to say they they uh, learn they can learn what they want to do for a career mm-hmm. through our program, and they can learn what they do not want to do right. for a career through our program. <laughs> right, and just being immersed in it is, is helpful either way. So we mentioned the Certified Nursing Assistance Program. That's housed at Clearview High School. Um, All of our specialty programs are housed at one of our high schools in the district, um, but they're open to any student who is interested in it, who who wants to travel back and forth. So if you're you're zoned to Clear Creek High School, you can still go and be in the Nursing Assistance Program at Clearview. Um, And so another exciting, what's new this year, is our welding um, program, Certified Welding Program, and that actually starts next Next year um, for Clearview High School for the 2022-2023 school year, but they're accepting applications now. So can you talk about the welding program and what 
um, that entails? Yeah, so um, like you said, it's located at Clearview High School, but it's not just for the Clearview High School students. So some of our specialty programs that are at high school, we just at Clearview, we just kind of think of that as a hub. Mm -hmm. uh, View is a very central location to the district, so it's a good place to locate some of the specialty programs. But yes, welding, we're very excited about welding. Uh, what we're really excited about is that it is a new facility. Mm -hmm. The whole Clearview uh, High School has been rebuilt, um, is uh, open in January. I, I would call it a soft open because it's still a work in progress, right. <laughs> but the students are in it. The campus is a fabulous. Beautiful. It really mm -hmm. is. It's got such a good feel to it. And with the welding program, since it was a new building, uh, we were able to build a, a customized lab, shop, work area, classroom. We have outdoor space that we work in. Um, and it's always nice uh, whenever you're opening a new program to have to build a new facility for it. So, uh, yeah, so we're excited about welding. That's a growing industry. Um, and uh, I, I think one of the reasons why there's such a demand for the welding uh, skill set is that it spans so many uh, different industries. Mm -hmm. Welding is kind of everywhere. There's not just there's not just one path. There's many areas of our economy that um, for uh, production that need mm -hmm. that skill. Um, and within the program, we also are offering certifications, um, AWS welder certifications, and so that is recognized by industry. Um, we encourage, while the students are going to get certifications in the program um, and can begin work uh, directly out of high school, we always encourage students to continue on in post-secondary education because the more formal education you can get in that area, the better. And I know I've talked to a lot of students mm -hmm. that plan on signing up and and uh, the welding courses here in, in, in Clear Creek that they're, that they're going to take, they, they look at it as just the beginning right. so but again uh, they will learn so much in it that mm -hmm. if they choose to just graduate and uh, you know go directly start working full-time mm -hmm. that's going to be an option too because the skills they gain um, even upon uh, graduating as a senior are right. going to be are going to be solid absolutely and some of our other, I know we mentioned a few, but you can find all of this information at www.ccic.net slash CTE. And it lists all of our specialty programs, all of our programs of study for intermediate and high school. And we also have career cl clusters listed on that page. Can you go into detail um, of what career clusters means in the process students take through high school? Okay. Um, well, the term career cluster is just kind of a breakdown of, okay, you know, we're talking about how huge career and technical education is mm -hmm. in all of the different areas. So that's just a way to kind of categorize, okay, so you say you offer courses um, that can touch any career area. Well, tell me, give me, you know, mm -hmm. give me a framework for that. I actually jotted down, I thought we would probably be addressing the clusters and, and sometimes I kind of try to throw them out off the top of my head and mm -hmm. I can usually get almost all of them, but I end up missing one or two. So I wrote them down and I, I do want to just uh, go over them so you, you know. And so uh, we have agriculture science, uh, architecture and construction, audio video technology and communications, business marketing and finance, education and training, um, health science, hospitality and tourism, human services, information technology, manufacturing, science, technology, engineering, and math, so that's your STEM area, mm -hmm. and then the uh, transportation cluster, which includes our automotive technology program. Um, and so that's a that's a that's a quick uh, step through of all of the different areas that we have. So many opportunities, mm -hmm. um, and 
as you see with our welding program, we're always expanding as well. I did want to say something mm -hmm. with welding that I forgot to mention. I, I do want to say, you know, we talked about the programs located, the specialty programs located at Clearview High School. The other two that are there, mm -hmm. uh, along with welding being new, is our cosmetology program and our uh, nursing program, the certified nursing assistant. And I did want to mention, and, and, and students may want to take advantage of this now, especially since they're in that beautiful building, mm -hmm. that if you want to stay on your home zoned campus, you can travel to take these classes and then travel back to your home campus. Mm -hmm. But you can also become a student of Clearview right. High School. Um, Clearview High School is an awesome place to be. So. If you hadn't thought about becoming a student of Clearview High School for the sake of being a student of Clearview High School, if you're considering any of those specialty programs, cosmetology, nursing, or welding, I would really encourage you to think about becoming mm -hmm. a student there because it just it takes away that transportation time. Right. Um, and if, if you're really digging into that program, it's just good to be there. There. In that environment. They're mm -hmm. in the environment. You're around, you know, your instructor that you develop a relationship is, right. is there all day long. You can pop in and out, you, you know. So I just think about that if you are thinking about applying to one of the programs on that campus. Yeah, so you can, t uh, Clearview High School and Clear Horizons Early College High School are two high schools of choice. And then we yeah. have our five comprehensive high schools as well. So if you're looking into one of these programs, um, like you said, you can also apply to be a student at Clearview at the same time right now as applying for the specialty programs. So um, if you want more information, the uh, address for Clearview is clearview.ccic.net. It's an amazing building. Uh, if you go on our website, uh, you'll see we did a recent story with um, some updated photos from their first day there. It's just an amazing place, mm -hmm. as well as Clear Horizons, which is um, based on our San Jacinto College um, campus. Uh, college campus. So um, great, great addition to that. Um, the, the application, like we said, is currently open. Can you take students um, who are interested and families who are doing this course registration process? Can you talk through that process, the application process? Yeah, so the application is online. Um, the direct link to the application is ccisd.net forward slash CTE applications, or you can also find the link to the application through our CCISD CTE page, um, which is ccisd.net forward slash CTE. Students will log in using their district provided credentials. Um, all of the courses are there. We do ask that you submit a separate application for each course that you're applying to, but you are more than welcome to apply to multiple courses mm -hmm. and programs. Um, priority list deadline is Friday, February the 25th, but the application does remain open after that. So we always, always encourage students to apply even well after that date. We wanna mm -hmm. try to ensure that we are able to accommodate any student interests that we may receive. Um, students are going to be notified near the end of March what their status is. Um, that gives our teachers time to, to really look at their numbers and see how many seats we have available mm -hmm. and, and try to accommodate as many students as we can. Um, but the application is open now, so we really encourage everyone to get that in as soon as possible. And just to be clear, the application is for what grade levels? It's incoming ninth through current 11th grade students. Correct, yes. And it's just depending on the program that they're interested in applying for. Gotcha. Is there anything you think we missed that y'all want to talk um, about? I, I, I didn't want it to sound like every single CTE course requires an application, mm -hmm. though. So I wanted to clarify that. It's more of the mm -hmm. programs that are sequential. Uh, right. When you enter the program, you're committing to not always, but usually multiple mm -hmm. years of being mm -hmm. in it. And we have, because of facilities or uh, whatever it may be, there's there's limited seats. Right. Uh, but I would say that the majority of, of CTE courses, and, and you can see them in your uh, educational planning guide, mm -hmm. the majority of CTE courses uh, can just be um, selected during the course selection process. There's not an application. But mm -hmm, yeah, if right. you go to the uh, CTE website, you'll see both. You'll see, you can see a, a, a list of all of the courses that we offer. Mm -hmm. They're under our programs of study. They're kind of broken down in that way. And then you can also see, um, if you go to the link that says specialty programs specifically, mm -hmm. those are the ones that require an application. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and we just updated the EPG educational educational planning guide on our website. And if you're going through course selection, we talked about um, that our, on our last episode. So you can go back and listen or visit ccisd.net slash course selection um, for more information and to see that guide and see that gives you an overview of every single class we offer um, in CCISD as well as our career and te- technical education program. Um, if there's nothing else, I don't think we have any questions, so I think I'm going to wrap us up. Uh, that's it for this week's Car Rider Line. You can always go back and listen to this through your podcast apps. We publish each episode as an audio episode and also record live on Facebook every other week. And so you can tune in um, in two weeks for our next episode. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you.